Hello guys and welcome back to another smartphone inspector video. This time I will take a closer look at the camera of the Galaxy S6. I thought I knew all about the camera but I discovered a few cool features which I want to share with you. As I said in my review the S6 brings the best smartphone camera in 2015 up till now and those are not only my words but also those of, uh, of a renowned website like the XOMark. The camera is fast and easy to use and in most scenarios it outperforms all other smartphone cameras including the one found in the iPhone 6 Plus. Now in this video I will demonstrate the various camera modes, uh, when you should use them and how to use them. So join me and let's go ahead. So here we have the S6 Edge and uh, the easiest way to launch the camera is by double tapping the home button at any time, even when the phone is locked. Uh, and once it's launched, there are several ways to take pictures. You can tap the camera shutter icon, you can uh, press the volume buttons, you can place your finger on the heart rate sensor in selfie mode, uh, you can use your voice to trigger the shutter, and you can even uh, use the palm of your hand. And that only works for the front camera. So I guess most of you just use auto mode to take uh, beautiful pictures with the S6. But Samsung have also given us more controls and options. And uh, the main camera on the back has seven camera modes you can choose from. Five of them are for taking pictures and two for video. For taking pictures, the default setting is auto mode. Uh, then there's the pro mode, uh, selective focus mode, panorama mode and virtual shot mode. And uh, the video modes are slow motion and fast motion. So let's take a look at all these modes. Auto mode will automatically adjust the camera settings for exposure, color and ISO. It will automatically apply low light condition settings when uh, the S6 detects that lighting isn't good enough or when it is dark. So you can always take very good pictures without touching any settings. And in this mode you can also uh, lock the focus and exposure. All you have to do for that is just tap and hold the area to focus and the focus and exposure setting will be locked. And uh, this is quite useful when the object you're trying to capture is outside the autofocus area. So auto mode is most likely uh, your first choice if you don't like to fiddle around with the other camera modes. And next we have pro mode and this is where things really get interesting. And I think people who use professional cameras will love it. It allows you to manually adjust a lot of things like ISO exposure, uh, white balance, focal length and color tone I think. And you can save your settings uh, to a custom setting if you want to use it in the future. Now after using this phone for a few weeks uh, I recently found out that you can separate the exposure and the focus area in pro mode. Now you might want to do this if bright light affects the contrast or if the subject is outside the autofocus area. To separate exposure area and focus area you simply tap and hold like this just like in auto mode and uh, the focus and exposure frame comes up. But as you can see now, uh, the, the lighting is very bright, so it's not really natural. So what you can do is drag the frame, and uh, the frame will be split into two frames, one for autofocus and the other for auto exposure. And now you can move the two frames independently. And uh, as you can see, it makes for a better picture, and it is really cool. Next I want to show you selective focus. Now this mode is not new and uh, it was actually uh, first introduced in the Galaxy S5 I believe. But it is one of the modes that I use quite often. It allows you to choose the focus of the image at any time. So you can keep the foreground in focus, the background in focus or keep everything in focus. And uh, once a picture is taken you can change the focus in the gallery app and save it accordingly. Now let me show you a picture I took a few days ago and there you can see how it works. So here I can tap uh, to focus the foreground and then the background or you can say hey I want to focus on the, across the image. Now when taking pictures make sure that there is sufficient distance between the uh, subject and the background and with sufficient I mean uh, more than three times the distance between the uh, S6 and the subject you're focusing on in the foreground. 
Panorama mode is available in almost every Android smartphone. And in the S6 you're limited to 6 megapixels as the picture resolution. Uh, also you can't use flash or set exposure or white balance. All these will be set by the phone. Next up we have virtual shot mode. Now suppose you want to create a view of your subject from multiple angles uh, and you don't want to record a video or take multiple pictures. Then you should try out the virtual shot. To take a virtual shot just tap the camera shutter button and uh, move around the subject quite slowly. And uh, when the on-screen arrow becomes completely yellow or when you stop moving the S6 will also stop taking pictures and uh, the virtual shot is ready. You can then view it from different angles by dragging your finger left or right on a photo or by tilting your device. Let me show you how it works. So here's a picture I took a few days ago of my niece and as you can see by dragging my finger or by tilting the device you get a really cool effect. Keep in mind that virtual shots can only be viewed on uh, Samsung devices and in other devices it's just a normal photo with a single directional view. Now let's go to video recording. As you can see uh, you can set a lot of different settings for video recording, stabilization, different resolutions, different frame rates. Uh, so there are a lot of quality settings to choose from but unfortunately not many different modes you can record in. Uh, one of the available modes is slow motion and the uh, slow motion video on smartphones really took off when uh, when it was introduced uh, in the iPhone 5s. The resolution is limited to 720p but, uh, but the iPhone 6 has the edge here as it records uh, at 240 frames per second while the S6 is limited to 120 frames. So after you've recorded the slow motion video you can uh, watch it at various speeds you can set uh, the slow motion section here. Uh, you can uh, export the edited videos so that they can be uh, played on other devices. And you can split and trim videos. So there's a little more customization options on the S6 than on the iPhone. The same goes for the other video mode which is called fast motion mode. And what it does is the opposite of slow motion mode. It allows you to uh, record a video for viewing it in fast motion. It's fun to use in the beginning, but I've never used it ever since. So that was the main back camera. Samsung have also put a decent 5 megapixel camera in the front with the same wide uh, 1.9 aperture for some bright selfies. The front camera has four different modes. Uh, you have the selfie mode, which is the default front camera mode. Then there's wide selfie mode, a virtual shot mode, which is uh, the same as for the back camera and interval shot mode. Now in both uh, selfie modes the software will uh, apply some effects to make you look uh, better or in my case worse. So uh, I, I like a more natural style but luckily you can change the uh, beauty setting. And there's, uh, there's even auto HDR setting and some color effects setting. So let me take a selfie and uh, demonstrate how you can trigger the shutter. Cheese. Record the video. The wide selfie mode allows you to take uh, wide angle selfies so that you can fit more people in the shot. Now, I doubt if it's, uh, if it's useful as it uh, requires a little patience and therefore it can ruin a, a, a spontaneous selfie. Now how it works is that you uh, press the shutter button and you then tilt the device to, to the left and then right and the phone does the rest to create a wide angle selfie. Now the final front camera mode I will show you is uh, interval shot mode and it's, uh, it's basically a mix of selfie mode and uh, interval timer shooting which you can find in uh, most DSLR cameras. It allows you to take uh, four selfie shots continuously uh, at an interval of two seconds. So the timer will be shown on the screen and uh, after taking four pics you can save any of the four photos you want. So let me show it to you how it works. Now, if you don't like any of the photos you just hit cancel and none of them 
will be saved. If all these modes aren't enough for you, you can download and install additional camera modes by hitting the download button. What happens then is that you'll be redirected to a hidden page of Galaxy apps. Let me show you. Here it is. And here you can download additional modes. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two about the camera on the S6. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more smartphone inspections. Take care and see you later. Bye bye.